What is up, MFers? Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. Uh, yeah, back in Costa Rica. We're about to get run over. Got my Costa Rican rod holder right here and got the old ride or die Miss Betty Milliken in the back seat there. You guys have been seeing us do a bunch of fishing on the boat out on the Ponga, fishing for big giant stuff. Well, we're still gonna go fish for big giant stuff, but uh, we're actually doing it on the beach this time. We're going surf fishing, which was one of my favorite things I did last time I was here. So yeah, like I said, we got the rods over the shoulder. Not really sure if there's any type of pole holder. Hopefully no 5-0 catch this riding dirty, Miss Betty. What do you think? Uh, I haven't seen one policeman. Right, there's no policemen in this country, so hopefully this time they don't pull us over. But yeah, let's get to the beach. I got big slanches to catch, rede redeem myself from the disappointment that I've been having the last few days. Go, go buy this shirt too, it's a badass shirt. Do that, okay, we'll see you at the beach. Damn, they're even crashing right here. It's a great sign, boo-boo. Not great that these goobers haven't caught anything in front of us yet. They don't got the secret war baits underspin. Well, this is tough right here with the rocks, but we'll go over there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go like, just pass where those guys are maybe. Just cast that as far as you can. I don't know, babe. Ooh, big swirl. Something got munched right there. Yeah, any of this, it's uh, this is all rock, but since it's uh, the tide's high, there's enough water for fish to be on top of it. If you get that snagged and lose it, it's not a big deal. I got a bunch more. Oh, I don't want to chase it. That's bad. Yeah, there's water inside this thing. That's kind of important. you guys can hear any of this but it's kind of crazy this is where we're gonna be fishing that's the fishing village back behind us where we took off with the boats right up here doesn't look like much but if you look a little bit closer you see a bunch of birds flying around diving in the water there's tons of bait right here and if you watch the last time I was here there's epic fish right out there there's giant snook giant jack rooster fish you can even catch a kubera snapper those big giant cheeks critters that have been going after so Mr. Becca and I are gonna get after them and hopefully catch them dogs Oh, yeah. Hooked up, Rebecca. Mr. Jack. I caught the world's smallest Jackson. He's talking to you, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I caught something. What the heck? I caught a fish. And he's gone. Oh, yeah. Nope, we're not doing the rocks. We are not. Ugh. Got something giant. Oh my God, this is awesome. What is it?
I haven't even seen it yet. He really wants to take me to the rocks. I just got a little freshwater hook on too. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Just gonna wear him out. Back and forth. Back and forth. Is that a rooster? There's a jack. I'm really hoping this is a rooster. I've never caught a rooster fish. I bet it's not, but it could be. God, what is it? It looks like a rooster. I thought I saw some, some spines on top of it. Oh, uh, it's a big jack. Come here, jack. I want to touch you. Hell yes. Yes. Oh my God, that is so sick. He freaking choked it too. You bet. <laughs> oh my God. Look at the swim bait. Freaking got it. Oh man, that's like a, I don't know, that's heavy. It's probably like a 10 to 12 pound jack. We're not gonna keep him and eat him, but my God, that's a beautiful thing. Mark. Becky, we caught some. We did it! This spot's better right here than the other ones were. Let's do it, let's get down here. Time for the old release of Mr. Jackson. I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> I caught you fish. Uh, yeah, things just uh, just improved. That was just a, a jack. I don't know anything about them, but I'm kind of shaking right now because I'm just out here throwing where all this bait's breaking and stuff. And I'm seeing all these little fish and then all of a sudden, that one comes out of nowhere. I'm seriously shaking. I thought that was a big rooster fish or something, which there are rooster fish out here. And obviously we actually went and fished two other spots on another beach before this and didn't get a bite. Came here and getting bites like crazy, caught the little jack and then caught that one. So Mr. Beck is gonna probably take a break from tanning and, and maybe go try to catch a dog as well. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can hear anything I'm saying. Hopefully you can, but uh, probably a good time to tell you guys this. That freaking fish was fighting so damn hard and I've actually been using this new line company, it's called Fanatic, for all my fishing lately, and I'm probably gonna be using them for all my fishing moving forward, but they have, this is the Fanatic Braid on my router here. Let me get in the sun so you guys can see it. But yeah, we got Fanatic Braid on here. This stuff's super strong, 65 pounds, super supple. I can cast my baits. I'm like, literally I can cast further with this stuff, I think, than anything I've ever used before. This is a fluorocarbon leader, also made by Fanatic. That's what this guy is. It's an 80 pound leader. And this stuff is so freaking strong. Um, but even the smaller sizes I've been using for ice fishing haven't been broken off this year. They make fluorocarbon line, regular fluorocarbon that's super, super soft, supple, easy casting. I know everyone's looking for that uh, and asking questions about what kind of fluorocarbon line you should be using. This stuff's totally badass. And the, the owners of Fanatic actually reached out to me and they were like, we can hook you guys up. The old MF or Nation with their own special discount code. So I'll throw that on the screen right now. Link it down below and you guys can go get this stuff cheaper than anywhere else. You're probably gonna hear me talking about this a whole lot more moving forward. This uh, this stuff is totally badass. I'm gonna be using it for everything from 80 pound fluorocarbon liters to four pound braided line for ice fishing and everything in between. Monofilament fluorocarbon, they got everything. And uh, so far I'm extremely impressed. Brand new brand. That's always what I like to get behind. You guys know that I like to get behind the up and coming brands. They support the channel, go support them. And uh, yeah, links down below, pick some of this stuff up. Yep. Get out of there, you peckerhead. What do we got here? He's riding the waves. I'm riding the waves. I have a fish on. Oh God. Here he comes! There he is! 
He's not here. Come back. Nope, nope. You're done. <laughs> I caught Jonathan sideswipe. This is what's ding, ding, ding on our baits like crazy. This is a different species, Rebecca, and I have no idea what it is. See, this is what's weird is why would he try to eat it with his stomach and not his mouth? These ocean fish are tricky sometimes. I'm about to get hooked. Well, I don't even know what this is, but it's different and it's cool looking. Look at that guy. This isn't the most desirable species. I don't even know what the hell it is, to be honest. But uh, he's got some little fangs on him. <laughs> Max. Like Max, that's right. All right, little fish. Sorry for, sorry for hurting you and stuff. I'm letting you go. Stop wagging your tail at me. See ya. So I was uh, a little bit ago retying for Becky. She uh, she got snagged and broke off, and so I had to tie a new leader on. And I didn't think my leader knot was very strong. As you guys know, if you use braid to fluorocarbon leader, heavy heavy stuff, you got to cinch it down so freaking tight. So Becky was holding onto the spool, and I was holding onto the spool of the rod. She had the spool of uh, of leader line that is. And so I was pulling back and she was pulling back really hard and we got we pulled so hard I was about to be like, okay, it's totally good. Even though it looks like shit. I tied a terrible knot uh, And then the line broke and the whole thing came back and hit her in the chest Let's see if you guys can tell on her stomach where that hit. Oh my god. So that that right there is where the line went That's where the knot is. It sucked. That's the knot in case you guys are wondering How's it feel? I think you did it on purpose. Oh, I might have It's a fruit truck. That's like the uh, the Costa Rican ice cream truck, as Rebecca says. It has watermelons and pineapples in the back of it. All right, fishing, fishing was badass. Um, caught some good ones. It wasn't so good for Becky. She got a giant welt on her uh, her stomach there. Maybe broke a toe or so, having a rock hit it and such. But hey, at least I caught some fish. Finally, finally. Even they're kind of undesirable species. They're jacks. The one was totally badass. I have no idea what the last one was. That's the cool thing about being out here. I don't know anything about anything. Um, but totally fun. Uh, seriously, go check out that line though, guys. I'm using a whole lot. Fanatic line. It's totally badass stuff. We got a, a really delicious dinner. We're actually going over to Aaron's dad's house for a little bit of Costa Rican culture night. And he's going to cook up some of the fish we've been catching the last few days. It's going to be absolutely freaking epic. You guys are going to want to watch the rest of this. Best, probably the best catch and cook ever. You should see how he's going to cook these. Let's, let's go now. Look <laughs> <laughs> who it is. Oh, hey guys. He's back. We're just cutting up some fish. What kind, of, what kind of fish is that? This is mahi and the mackerel. Uh, mahi and the mackerel. Mackerel. Ceviche. Uh, yeah. well, so we got something going on outside too, right? We gotta go out there a little bit. Yeah, we gotta go out there and get everything ready. Outdoors. Some craziness outside. Outdoors is ridiculous. Indoors is ridiculous. I wish you guys could smell through the screen right now because we got mushrooms back there. It's like some type of song. It's ridiculous. And we're out there in Dad's house um, in the woods. We we unfortunately missed the sunset here. We got it at the beach, but we missed it here. But this place is unbelievable. You should see this, the cooking setup outdoors. It's going to be the empty. What is that, Aaron? We got, we got beef ribs that are on there since 10.30, chicken, pork ribs, pork belly, chimichurri, salsa criolla, we got grilled vegetables, we got potatoes, we got a whole bunch of other stuff, and it's all gonna go in your belly. You bet. Really good. Deal.